Yeah, it is very, very important in life and ministry, definitely for one to have mentors and fathers. Um, not every mentor is a father. And um, one is blessed if we now have a mentor who is a father. Like the example I want to give is my relationship with Pastor Bakery. You know, um, Pastor Tony Bakery is such a father, apart from being a mentor. And <laughs> uh, my wife will remember this, you know, now and then we'll go and, every now and then we'll go and see Pastor. And at times you have um, a question burning in your heart and by the time you get to him, the way he would just, you know, answer the thoughts of your heart is remarkable. And, and, you know, one of the things that has helped my life and ministry is my constant communication and constant touch with Pastor Bakery. And uh, so I've been for two great meetings, both home and abroad, and uh, after teaching extensively, so people ask me the question, say, how do you get some of these, your teachings? How do you get to study the Bible in such a way that you do? And sincerely, I don't, I don't miss words. I just tell them that is because of um, how I studied Pastor Bakery. <laughs> because, you know, we've been to meetings that Pastor will be teaching and you're looking at it and you're like, where, 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 where did he get that from? <laughs> and at times you almost want to say that's not in the Bible. <laughs> and by the time he opened the scripture for you. So you begin to look at the pattern of how to study the scripture. My pattern of how to study the scripture sincerely came 100% from Pastor Bakre. Pastor Bakre is a diligent student of the scripture. You can't be a son of his and not have that unique handle on the word of God because that is what he communicates to us every time. And apart from the fact that we've learned from him how to study the word, one of the things we've learned from him also is how to, how to behave. You know, the concept of Omoloabi, you know, how to, the courage, the, the way to treat people, to relate with people. I mean, these are the things we get from mentors who are fathers. And uh, I've gotten so much of that from Pastor Bakary, and it's been, it's been remarkable. See, the impact of Pastor Bakary's life upon my life is unquantifiable. And I think it's only when we see the Lord in glory that we'll be able to accurately assess how much that life has affected my life and it's one thing i'm entirely grateful to god for you know you you go to him at times with a body and at times as you are talking to him you just see this peace <laughs> and many times go with <laughs> to him with a lot of body and by the time you finish he looks at you and he says <laughs> is that all and the moment he says is that all you just feel this peace of god and you are like or you are, you are persuaded about something. This has happened also many times. That this is the direction, this is the way you want to go in ministry. Pastor Bakari will never come out outrightly to say, don't do it. But he will just ask you one or two questions. <laughs> and by the time he asks you one or two questions, you look so stupid. And you are like, how come I didn't look at it in that light? And then you now begin to see that the wisdom of God is so serious. You know, when you're talking, we'll just be looking at you and they'll be shaking his head. And by the time he asks you one or two questions, you are just like, oh my God. <laughs> and, 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 you know, I, another thing we've learned so much from him is how to, you know, be generous. And generous to a fault, you know. And, uh, you know, Pastor Bakari is a giver, is a such a generous man. And he's a mentor with a father, who is also a friend. And like as I tell some of my pastor friends, I said, do you have a mentor that you have an unrestricted access to? You go to his house, he comes to your house. Uh, pastor Bakri has been to our place before, not once, not twice. And of course, we're always in his place every time that he lives a life before you. And it gives you, it makes you important. You travel with him. And, and one of the moments I've, I've enjoyed with him, both here and abroad, I remember there was a time we were both at home in London, in his place in London, and uh, all day we were just singing Ebenezer Bass song, I imagine. And you see, you see, somebody that is fun to be with, and that's the side of him that most people don't know. I imagine we started and we were just thinking, you know, we were in London at home, thinking of what to do. And of course, it was one of his holidays, and we we're just like, oh, do you know this Obey song? Do you know that Obey song? You know, it's very vast with obey songs too and we were just singing one obey song after the other and and if 
you were to be there, you just be wondering, is this part of the bakery? And that's the kind of father that he is. He's such a down-to-heart person and he, he loves you, he loves your wife, he loves your family. He's always calling on you to check on you. And he's somebody that also picks your intention in the spirit. And he knows exactly, you know, where you are in the scheme of things. And when he calls you, he tells you what is going on with you and, and so on and so forth. So if you look at all this, you realize that it is important for people to have fathers. Fathers that are mentors are, are unique. And Pastor Bakary, to me, is just one of such. And that's why I'm eternally grateful um, to have someone like him as a father figure in my life and in my ministry. And he's somebody, like, like Mark and I, every time we're talking, he's somebody I want to grow up to be like. Pazbaka is such a life that he, it will not be a wrong prayer for me, quote and unquote, to say, Lord, this is the kind of person I want to be like when I'm at his age. Because I've, I've also benchmarked certain things and I've looked at the things he did at 50, things he did at 55, and I'm like, Lord, those are the things I'm going to do. Uh, things he did at 60 is such such a privilege to be identified with such a man and that is always the case for everyone of course not everyone will be pastored and mentored uh, by pastor bakary but wherever god has joined you with and has joined to you you know they will always come true for you but it is always important to have a father to have a mentor to have somebody that to submit to and somebody that can ask you to sit down even when you want to stand up I mean, I've never had an issue if I want to do anything. I mean, the relationship is so deep that if pastor says no, which he will hardly say anyway, I, I, I've grown to understand and to trust his judgment and his, his, you know, his decisions because I've seen him over and over again relating with people and it's always coming true. You know, by the time he says, I don't think it should go this way. And he doesn't also rub it on your face, even if you miss it. So you see the aspect of love, you know, an aspect of acceptance in the scheme of things. And that is what mentorship and fatherhood is all about. But out of all this, sincerely, just like your question, the one that is the greatest um, blessing to me in the scheme of things is the ability to understand the word. He has opened up my heart into the word of God. He's, he's perhaps... Uh, you know, um, the greatest teacher I know in the body of Christ when it comes to teaching of the word and, you know, in the, in the real sense of the word, not he, he, he invests time, you know, preparing his messages, invests time praying and studying and he has put that into us. And, you know, every time I'm studying, I'm just like, Lord, the way you have helped Pastor Bakre to comprehend the scripture, help me to comprehend the scripture and it comes alive. And that is why I said at the beginning of the, that question, it's very important to have a mentor who is a carrier of grace and, you know, and apostleship. And that is what, that's what Pastor Bakari has done to me. I, 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 I thank God that our paths crossed and I'm eternally grateful to him for adopting me as a son and for being a father to me. And I, I don't take that lightly at all. And he knows that I appreciate that part of him. So also, I talk to every young minister that it's important for you to have solid mentoring and fathering relationships that are of essence. And, uh, you know, um, somebody asked me the other day, he said, what, what do you do for Pastor Bakary to invite him? I said, nothing. He's a father. He, he, does, he has never placed any demand on us as a minister, as an individual. He doesn't ask us to do anything, you know. Whatever you do is as we are led by the Spirit. He doesn't give you conditions or preconditions for hosting him. And he doesn't, you know, do any of those things. He, he comes, I mean, I've, I've followed him to meetings. My attitude towards finance and ministry is also uh, due to uh, the values I got from Pastor Bakary that you must never put money, you know, you know, as a condition for doing ministry. I've seen him many times refusing to take honorariums i've seen him giving back even to the ministries i that invited him to preach because i've traveled with him extensively both home and abroad and uh, because of that i've adopted that same philosophy when it comes to finance and ministry you will never see me charging anybody to do anything and many times also i've had uh, by the grace of god to return honorariums and you know favors and I don't, it doesn't mean anything. And I've also 
learn from him how to mentor people, how not to allow people to take advantage of you, and how to, you know, and, and, and we hear stories. It's also a repository of the stories of the body of Christ. You know, Pastor will just tell you some stories about a particular minister about a particular time because it's related with virtually everyone who is who in the body of Christ today. So he has stories to tell and you learn so much from those stories. And when I'm dealing with people, I remember some of these stories and they form the basis of the wisdom I manifest. And people people ask me every time that you act older than your age. And sincerely, if I do, it's because of the wisdom I got from Pastor Margaret has been a little bit older. I remember when I turned 40, I, I sent uh, an invite to one of the leading ministers in this country. And he called. As a matter of fact, two of them, the first one called and was like, you made a mistake in your ID, you wanted to write 50. <laughs> and I said, no, I'm not 50. He said, you can't be 40. I said, I'm 40. And, you know, that's when I turned 40. And the other guy also called the other minister and he said, no, I, you can't be 40. You must be joking. I said, I have. And every time I look at that, I'm like, I've, I've worked with somebody that is, you know, manifesting the kind of wisdom that I connect with and is now making it to look as if I'm acting older than my age. You know, I, I don't know how my life and ministry would have turned out uh, to be, if not for the input of Pastor Bakary. And, and I say that with every sense of humility and every sense of um, purpose. Because his unique impute into my life and ministry is what, by the grace of God, strengthen the stakes and my resolves, you know, to do some 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 things. And uh, um, I'm 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 so grateful to him because our paths crossed, and the past daily that you see today sincerely is a product of that relationship and mentorship, because he has influenced me so much so much more than any other human being on the face of the earth and um, we, we just live out this value system and i realize that those value systems are very good and uh, you know it tells you some things and you are like where did that come from and uh, you know and i remember many years ago one of the things he, he keeps on telling us is that whenever people are attacking him you must never attack them you must never fight for him and you know as a son you want to do that but i Later in life, I started seeing the wisdom in that. So even if you are beside me and you are cursing him or calling him names or fighting him, I'll just shake your hand. You will never see me get angry, get offended or want to fight or want to defend him because he has told us not to do that. That is uh, it's not necessary. So I, I see a lot of wisdom in that. And if you, if you take the matter to him on any issue involving another person, you always see him on the side of the person. He's always very careful you know in attacking people or in making somebody to feel as if they're in the wrong so it deals with you you know and we always tell you since i don't know the other person you are the one that i know so let's talk about you let's leave out the other person and it's such it's such a great honor to have someone like him as a father so that is to buttress the importance of having a father in ministry because believe me i don't think my life and ministry would be like this without the impute of that man uh, called Pastor Tony Bakary is the one that God has used to endow me, you know, with, with, with this kind of character, strength of character, to be able to go through certain things and not to be a, a certain type of minister. And I'm, I'm eternally grateful to God for that. Amen.